Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin has denounced the West for attempting to impose its will on sovereign nations. Speaking at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, Putin declared that the world has fundamentally changed and that the era of unipolar world is over. The United States, having declared victory in the Cold War, declared itself the messenger of God on Earth, who has no responsibilities, but only interests, and those interests are declared sacred. They do not seem to notice that over the past decades, new powerful centers have been formed on the planet and are declaring themselves louder and louder. Each of them develops its own political systems and public institutions, implements its own models of economic growth, and of course has the right to protect them, to ensure national sovereignty. And our correspondent Galina Polonska joins me now live. Galina, what did Vladimir Putin have to say now that the EU is further opening the door for Ukraine on its path towards EU membership? Hello, Pia. Well, uh, Vladimir Putin said that the EU is not a military political bloc unlike NATO and that Russia has nothing against uh, such a perspective opening uh, for Ukraine. He said that it was a sovereign decision of the EU to decide whether it wants the, uh, this country, Ukraine, to join uh, this economic alliance and said that uh, uh, Russia has uh, no objections against such a decision. He also uh, uh, said that uh, uh, if this happens, uh, the uh, EU would most probably provide uh, financial support for the daily life in Ukraine, but uh, uh, said that he doubts that uh, it would uh, help to restore its critical infrastructures uh, as uh, he doubts that the EU could create competitors. Uh, Vladimir Putin also spoke about uh, the future of the EU in itself and uh, said that he is persuaded that it will face a change of the elites uh, in the future as uh, people right now are suffering from sanctions in the EU, from sanctions imposed on Russia and uh, he said that populist uh, mood will rise surely and also he said that the EU has lost its political sovereignty. And Galena, he also defended his decision to invade Ukraine or as he puts it, this special military operation in Ukraine. But was there any kind of recognition of the immense human cost, those thousands of civilians who've now died in this war? Not a single word, Pair. Vladimir Putin, however, said that fighting is always a tragedy, but repeated once again that Russia did not have a choice, that it was dragged uh, to this line and promised once again that Russia will uh, attain its goals in uh, Ukraine. And uh, this, uh, th those words uh, were met with a massive applause in the hall of the um, Economic Forum in St. Petersburg. But Vladimir Putin was also asked about a um, danger of the beginning of the Third World War. And he said that this rhetoric comes from the Western leaders, that Russia just responds to their comments and uh, that there is no threat coming from Russia. However, he stressed that everyone knows what Russia disposes, what, what, what means Russia disposes, and what would be its answer in case of a danger. And there was also another very interesting question about Russia's warnings to attack the decision-making centers in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin did, said that he did not want to give details and said that uh, it, this would mean very tough actions uh, from the Russian side, but he stressed that it is up to Ukraine and the West to uh, draw their own conclusions with, with what they may collide if they cross the red lines.